Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today's project we're going to be reclaiming some lost space under the sink. Now as you can see this garbage disposal takes up a tremendous amount of space under the sink making that area pretty much useless and we don't really have a use for the garbage disposal so we're going to be removing it today, taking it out, removing all of the, the uh, piping and the drains that are underneath there and we're going to be replacing it with this standard traditional type of drain that you would see in just about every house. Now just so you know we did not go to a big box store to, to get these components because we wanted to have a better quality part. So we are going to get underneath there we're going to remove the disposal and I might add this too the sink itself is the same sink it's just the basket or strainer that's a little bit different. All right, so let me show you uh, what we're going to do. We're going to get in there and get this job done. Okay, as you can see underneath here, this is much too thick to go into that, the, the new pipes that we're going to put on. So we're going to first take off the garbage disposal here itself. We are going to unplug it in the back over here. There's a plug back there. I don't know if you can see it. We're just going to unplug that plug in the back right there so we have no power going into the garbage disposal whatsoever. We're going to put the our bucket underneath the bottom, as I said, to catch any water that comes out. We're going to disconnect the dishwasher connection here, which is going to leak a little bit of water. And we're going to remove the waste line right here. And then we'll take this out and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how we get this basket off up underneath here. All right, so uh, let's get started and let's get this job done. Okay, so first we're going to disconnect the the dishwasher from the garbage disposal. As I said, we did unplug the unit from the wall, so it's not plugged in. We're going to loosen up the screw on here, and then we're just going to take this, and we're going to work it back and forth and take it off. And then we're just going to take it and bend it down here so we see if we have any water comes out, which we don't, so we're okay with this. We're just going to stick this back out of the way right now. Next, we're going to come up underneath here, and we're going to take this piece here, and it goes counterclockwise to release it, just like this. Okay, we're going to also then come up in the back right over here. There's another one just like this in the back right there. See this one here in the back? We're going to loosen that one too, so we have a little bit of movement, so we can get that out. So we can get that out without damaging anything. Again, it's counterclockwise. Now you will get a little bit of water coming out of here, just so you know. So you want to be careful. Okay, and then once we have it loosened up, we're just going to rock it back and forth, and we're going to take it off. As I said, this is going to leak a little water, so make sure your bucket is down underneath it. Okay. Alright, so now as you can see, we have our waste line is disconnected, our dishwasher is disconnected. Now we're going to remove the garbage disposal itself. You have to hold it tight, because when you loosen up this clamp, this is going to fall off, so be very careful. As I said, we're not reusing this, so we don't really care if this gets wet, but that's it. This is out. This is garbage. So the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to come up underneath the bottom right here, and we're going to take out this basket up in the top here so we can install the new basket assembly. All right, so this we're going to take this and we're going to turn this like that. Now 
know, before we go any further, let's dispose of this, and then we'll come right back. Okay, so now you can see with the garbage disposal out of there, we have a lot more room to work. Uh, this we're going to leave right here for now. This trap, we're, we're probably going to reuse this trap again here as well. But this, we need to take this basket out. And the way to do that is we took our ring, our lock ring down. Now we're going to push up so that this pushes up through the top of the sink a little bit. And then we'll take the lock ring off the top. So let's push this out of the way so we can get in here and get that basket pushed up and out. A lot of stuff is going to fall off, just so you know. That's the plumber's putty. Okay. And now you can see the basket pushes up. Let's go up top and let's take the lock ring off. Okay, I'm going to try to remove it, but as you can see, this is really stuck. We're holding it down the bottom with a pair of um, channel locks, and we're trying to rotate it, and it's just not, not coming out. So this is starting to break right here, so we're just going to help it along just so we can get this out of here. plastic doesn't matter we can just break that right off Okay, our basket now, it's off, we're not going to reuse it obviously because it's the wrong size, but then normally it's supposed to unscrew, it's just that everything is pretty old and pretty corroded, and that's why it didn't come off. Alright, let's clean this up a little bit, and then we'll come right back. Okay, so now we have our replacement parts, we picked it up, we, we didn't go to a big box store because we didn't want to get poor quality stuff, so we went to a regular plumbing supply store. The merchandise at the plumbing supply is much better than the big box stores, so that's why you'll see uh, this is made of copper versus the plastic that we normally get in the big box store. All right, this is the new uh, basket for the sink itself, and the way we put that in is we unscrew this piece off here. This is exactly how it comes from the, from the store. We unscrew this nut right here. Take it totally off. And then this basket, you'll see, comes apart just like this. Now, note how you take it apart because that's how you want to put it back together. You'll notice it has a rubber gasket and it has a paper gasket. That's, this is the way it needs to go back together. So make sure it goes back together the way that you see it right here. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to just put this here for a minute. We're going to go take some what's called plumber's putty. And there's lots of different brands of plumber's putty. This just happens to be the one that I'm using. And we're going to put a very small bead of plumber's putty underneath the lip, right up underneath here. You don't want to use too much because the worst thing you can do is put the plumber's putty up here, have too much, and it comes down through the bottom, and then it'll get all over this rubber gasket. and It'll cause the gasket to, uh, to distort. It'll actually start to get like a wavy type um, pattern to it and we don't want to have any leaks. So we're going to use the plumber's putty underneath the lip right here sparingly. And the way you use it is just grab the whatever brand you have, take a chunk out in your hand. You'll notice it's kind of sticky of course. And then you just take it and you rub it back and forth in your hands and you create like a very small strip of the putty. About like that. Then we take our basket and make it a little bit thinner actually. 
put it on here like this. Tear the excess off. And you just take it and you push it down just like this. And if you see a section that's a little bit thinner, you can take a little bit more and add to it. And once you have it all pushed down like this, We're going to take our basket, slide it through the top, and then we'll connect this up onto the very bottom. So let's push this through the top right now. Okay, then we take our, our basket and we put it back through here. We center it in the hole as, as just about the best you can. Push it down a little bit, and then we'll go back down the bottom, and we'll continue on the bottom. Okay, now we take our basket and we'll put it back together. Remember, we have the rubber up top the paper gasket on there like that and that's exactly how we're going to put it back on. We're going to slide it up here just like this. We're going to take this nut and we're going to screw it on just till it contacts it. Now we grab our adjustable pliers and we tighten it up. It doesn't have to be real tight, just snug. Okay, so now our basket is now in. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to measure how long this pipe is and we're going to cut it to fit. Now this is going to go up here like this and we're going to have this piece so that it comes down I'll turn this so you can see a little better. We're going to have this connecting in here just like this. And we're going to cut this pipe here probably right around there so it sticks down into the trap a little bit further than you than here. All right, so we're going to mark it right here. We're going to take this into the, uh, into the garage and we're going to cut this with a hacksaw. Once we cut it with a hacksaw, we'll come right back. Okay, so now after we cut the pipe to our proper length, we're going to put the pipe into the basket. It comes with a new seal. Make sure you use a new seal in there and it fits right on the top just like this. And then we use some, um, and then we're going to take some of the, uh, some of the plumber's joint compound and we're going to put it on the threads up here where it's going to screw into. And then we're just going to take this, slide it into the trap itself first like this, push it down, bring it across like this. Turn it the direction that you need the hose to be for the dishwasher. And then we take this and we screw it up here. Finger tight. Now we have our seal on here, our new seal. We're going to bring it down here. We are going to use a little bit of the, the plumber's compound right on here as well just so we don't have any kind of little leaks, just like this. And a little bit on the threads as well. We will wipe any of the excess away later on after we tighten it up. We're going to bring this down, push that seal all the way down, and then we'll screw it together and tie it again. Before we tighten anything up, we're going to make sure everything is set exactly as we want it. Everything looks good. And now we'll start to tighten everything up. We're going to start up here at the basket itself. Hold the direction that you want it. And then we're going to snug this down. It does not have to be real tight. We're just going to snug it down. Okay, 
Same thing here. We're going to tighten this up just a little bit, not too tight because you are tightening up plastic with the seal. All right. Now these have the thumb tabs on them so we can tighten it up here fairly tight. We'll tighten up this one like that. And we'll take our rag and we'll wipe off any of the excess that's on here now so we don't have a mess. Okay, now we're going to take our dishwasher hose and we're going to bring it over here. We're going to put it back on. Okay, we got our dishwasher connection on. Now we're going to take our screwdriver and we'll tighten it up. nice and tight. Just check, make sure that everything is tight again. Okay. These are tight. Okay. Let's turn the water on and make sure we have no leaks. Okay, so now we have our water running. We're just going to check around up on the basket where it touches up into the sink itself right up here to make sure we have no leaks. Make sure we have no leaks right here. Make sure there's no leaks with any of the connections that you previously put on. So we'll let the, the water run for a little bit just to make sure. If it does leak a little bit, then you can tighten these up just a little bit more, but you really don't want to go too tight and damage anything. All right, so let's shut that water off and we'll, we'll wrap this up. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, replacing the, uh, removing the garbage disposal and replacing it with just a, a regular pipe is really not that difficult. I would recommend though, just go to a, uh, to a regular plumbing supply store to pick up your parts versus going to a big box store because the quality in the parts you're going to be using, it's going to be much better. But that's it. We're just going to run the water, make sure there's no leaks, and then this job is done and we're on to the next one. All right, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, and when you hit the subscribe button, the bell will come up, and you can click on that bell to be notified of future uploads. But that's it. This job is done, and we're on to the next. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.